Are you looking for a quick and efficient way to create summaries in your reports to unlock hidden trends and point out relevant insights that you can easily customize? I'm Angelica Chuquan, and today I want to talk to you about Power BI's Smart Narrative Visual. And I also want to take a look at using the narrative visual with Copilot inside of Power BI. Now, if you don't have access to Copilot, don't worry. We're going to take a look at that smart narrative visual and you do not need Copilot for this. But if you want to see what Copilot can do for you, then stay tuned. Before we begin, are you planning on taking the PL300 certification exam? Then check out CertXP, a fun new way to prepare for that PL300 where you will get exposure to practice exam questions. Visit crag.work slash Angelica40 and you'll save 40% on an annual on-demand learning subscription and get access to all of CertXP features. Now, onto the video. All right, so here on this report, I have just the AdventureWorks data set, a couple of card visuals here, using that new card visual to show us the total sales, our profit, total orders. We've got sales by country. Notice how the rest of our visuals are going to update based on the selection we're making over here on our sales by country column chart. Gauge visual showing us the progress we're making to our sales goal. We can see that now by each country to see who is meeting this who is maybe in jeopardy of not hitting it, and we can see there how we are doing across all countries. Now, there's a few ways to engage and use that smart narrative visual. You can right-click any visual that you wanna summarize the data for, and you can click Summarize. The other option that you have is to click in the background of the report and go to the Visualizations pane, or on the Insert tab, you'll also find that narrative visual. I'm going to grab the narrative visual from the visualizations pane. Now here is where your view may look a little bit different. If you already have Copilot enabled and you have this configured in your preview features as well as for your Power BI service, you will see this option here. Now if you don't have the Copilot feature enabled, then what you are going to see is that this will look very similar to what I'm showing here now with the smart narrative visual. Your administrator needs to make sure that Copilot is enabled in Microsoft Fabric. You can see here you do need a capacity. So you do need a capacity license and it needs to be in one of the regions listed in the Fabric region availability. I will link this in the description so you can run through these requirements and make sure you have what you need to use and leverage Copilot in your Power BI reports. When you use the Smart Narrative Visual, what's really neat about this is you can go in here and you can add to it if you want. You can go down here to the bottom and you can say, let's go ahead and click here, return total cost for, I uh, will just leave it at total cost. Now what I can do up here in this format feature that you see, we can go in here and now it's asking us, how do we want to calculate this? Well, I already have in here a total cost measure. And so I want to pull that in and you can see it's pulling this up right here. It's total cost and it's for all countries. You can format this. We'll change this to US currency there. Make sure that it's set. You can name your value here. So if you want to go in and change the name of that value, it's a good idea. Click save, and then you will see it listed here as well. So you could go in and format this. You can see you've got the option of all the font formatting sec settings here in your format uh, window. So lots that you can do with this. Now, what about leveraging Copilot? Let's take a look at that. I'm going to remove this visual to give us a little bit more room to work with. So I'm going to grab that narrative visual again. And now this time I'm going to select the Copilot preview option. Now you can see we have the option to use the narrative with Copilot and use Copilot to help create and write that summary for us. We can switch back to the smart narrative option. Then we can uh, switch back and forth between those two there. Now let's take a look at using Copilot to help generate that summary for us. So you can see here, there are some suggestions, give an executive summary, answer likely questions from leadership, create a bulleted list of insights. 
Let's try that one. We'll try out the suggestion here. Use a bulleted list to highlight key insights. We are on the current page. Notice that that is pulling in here and you can see the visuals that are selected. What's even neat is it gives you a preview of those visuals here with that little tool tip, which is so neat. I love it, but you can modify that as well. Now, something to note is that Copilot is going to leverage your visuals to write the summary. So keep that in mind. It's not the underlying semantic model. It is the visuals that you've set up on the page. Let's go ahead and click create and see what we get here. And ooh, I like the formatting here. So the formatting here is really nice. You can see that it's bolded our values here. We could go in and modify those call out values, of course. Oh, it's bolded the countries here that we want to draw our attention to and pointing out those insights for our sales. Uh, which country has the highest, which country is the lowest. You can see the positive correlation here for sales and profit over two years. In regards to the class, you can see that H has recorded the total highest sales for our product class category. And then the total profits amounted here, you can see from over 60,000 orders is 12 million. Now, if you wanna change the narrative that is produced, you can go in here and adjust the summary that was produced. So if we wanted to, we could go in, remove it and spotlight this too if we want to start our report off on this page. But if we don't like what we what was generated, we can go in here and modify it. Now you may have noticed that it produced it, it produced a set of footnotes here. So we can select one of these footnotes and it's going to specify the visuals to reference in the summary. So you can see this is the sales and profit by year visual. We can see this is the progress to sales goal. Again, this is a calculated insight. Then we have the reference to the sales by country visual and our total sales by class. All right, so a couple of reminders. In order to use Copilot Narratives Visual, you will need to have, in the Power BI service, you will need to have a workspace that has a paid dedicated capacity. So this does need to be published to a workspace that is in a paid capacity. Now the workspace needs to be a premium or a uh, F64 or higher license. So a couple of things to remember, you can use smart narratives without Copilot to generate those summaries. It is one of the built in AI visuals inside of Power BI. But if you do have access to Copilot, go in there and use it to generate those summaries. It's gonna provide those footnotes. You can go in and adjust the prompt if you don't like the result that was given to you to improve the results of the summary. I hope you have enjoyed this video and this series on AI visuals in Power BI. If you have any questions or uh, let me know what you're looking for next with AI in Power BI, then let me know here in the comments. We also have some other co-pilot courses on our on-demand learning platform, including a co-pilot and Power BI course. It's a really great one, a really quick one too, to get you started. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you check that out and use the link in the description below to get a discount to our on-demand learning platform.